Okay, um, I'm gonna make do you how to make a fly a flying machine. I showed in my video. Um, I only tried to make a tutorial, but you see, I failed. Didn't win. It wouldn't launch because I forgot one thing at the very start. So I'm gonna start again. Um, first at the bottom, we need a move object to stop it from flying. It can also be bedrock if you want to make as low as possible. And then we're gonna make the motor. Because I made it already, I know even better how it works now, without having to look it up. Uh, that's this going up thing, and this one is the going down thing. And this one you can activate as many times as you want, but it will not do anything. So you don't have to worry about that. And you will, for going down, you will throw a snowball at it, and it will activate. Okay, next, I'm gonna put these here. And these will push up two squares of honey and slime blocks where the pistons will be at and detectors will be like here. Okay. And that is the first part of it. Last time I forgot this one. Make sure you watch the entire video because I forgot to please these plus vertices right here okay okay and now we're gonna go to the second layer we can make some fun the fun shapes uh, this shape and yeah you just do it in every direction And then you put blast furnaces at these corners. Okay. Then we're gonna put observers down here and out there, and pistons facing up. An observer facing downwards here, and outwards there, and then pistons facing up. And you do that all around because it's completely symmetric. Um, no. Next part of the video, I'll just show you how to do one side and then you can just copy it to the all the other four sides so the tutorial, the tutorial doesn't get too long okay that's the second layer the third layer you're gonna make this weird shape and put a blast furnace down here then you're gonna face that one out and that one facing out and one going here, and it will look like this. This shape we will have to make. Then, gonna for, the, for this one, we're gonna make this shape. Gonna move it. observer there, two observers here, and put pistons facing up like that. And that's one corner, and you copy that to every other three corners. I almost forgot, you kinda need to put a blast finish there. <laughs> okay, now this is the third layer. You have a lot of pistons facing upward right now. Um, I hope you did not forget to put any blast furnaces down because that's for the landing very important. For the launching it isn't yet. So when it launched and you look at it, or when it's gone, there should be like a more beautiful symmetry as bl of blast furnaces. The next part is actually not that hard to see coming. Uh, we're gonna make the platform. And uh, we're gonna start in the middle. Um, one thing to note is that if you have a hard time getting slime blocks or honey blocks, and you can switch them around, but you can only switch those around that are not touching any other uh, slime of or honey blocks. Like here, you have to have slime and honey blocks. But for this one, it doesn't really matter because it's not touching any other slime or slime blocks. Only thing you probably need slime blocks for is this part, because honey blocks get triggered, get triggered differently than slime blocks with observers. But here it doesn't matter. 
is the to tip for you guys if you have trouble finding a lot of slimes. Um, yeah, let's start in the middle. Which one you start with isn't important. First, put a on your slime block and let's say honey block above a piston and make this up. Oh, nope. Oops, sorry. And let's see how these go like this. And it's like this quarter of the middle. And put a blast furnace here. Why? Because you can see there's no other block beneath it. Uh, then you do it everywhere like that. And uh, you can see no block beneath it, so you can place it there. And then honey block here. Blast furnace there. Slime block there. And that's the middle part done. Then the next part. This is kind of similar everywhere. Make a square and put a slime block or honey block. The one above the piston. And then put a blast furnace where there's no block belief. Now here you have two options. And let's put it next to the other one. And that's really how this one goes here. You only have one option. Uh, and this one. You have two options there or there. I'll just put it here. I'll put it there. Doesn't really matter. Uh, and then you go around doing, doing it like that, putting blast furnaces down, and do that all around. Now we have the eight by eight square that we pushed be up, and now we only have to do the sides. I'm gonna show you this side, and I'm gonna do it like this. Just have to connect like that to this piston and put a blast furnace on this one here because you can put it there as you can see and for this one and the slime looks like here and that one right there because there's no block in it you can also put it here what you what you like and you do that to all the sides okay and now you're done Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nah, not completely done. It will move up, but it will keep on moving up forever. So we're gonna need to make it stop. So you build it, of course, at the bottom of where you want it to be, because that's the easiest way. And then go up to where you want it to stop. Okay, and this one is on the corner of the middle four by four. And you can put it like that. Now we stop them 2x2 two two or 4x4 four four create in the middle and then you're gonna try to also make it stop the grid in the bigger scale and you can do that by this pattern, it looks nice. And then for the outer ones you can just put these there. Ah, this will work, but it doesn't look very fancy. So we can, I will test it like right now, if it works. And then decorate it. I'm going to show you how to decorate it. Dead. It goes up. And so we placed everything correctly. It seems like it, like that, uh, that works. And to make it go down, to a snowball, add it like here. And you will make it do with an expen dispenser that shoots, so nothing has to have, don't have to make an extra machine that does that. And if you place the all blast furnaces or obsidian correctly, it will land perfectly. Now, how can you decorate it? Um, I recommend that with slabs because monsters can't spawn on them. And yeah, and you can use uh, also a bit of stairs because you can put stairs on the side here. And then, oh, I 
bit the wrong slaps, this, these slaps, and can slap. That can also be full blocks. They like this style, you can just walk on it. You can just do something like this here. And you can just walk on it like this beautifully. And then you can just slap the place up. For example. And then a uh, big stairs on the side up oh, to my rent. Okay. Um, how to activate it is uh, I'll show you just what I made here. So I don't have to completely build that. Now, what I did is make a button to the side here, put blast furnaces here so they don't get put. But you can also put the button here. Get a signal down and make a piston fire at it. And then it will launch. I put buttons all around, but that's when you can decide completely yourself how you activate it. Like you can see, I put this one up because if it goes up like this. You see that I. Okay, it's a little bit silent now. You can see I put these here, so it looks kind of cool when it comes on the top. And I put for the measure these one on top of it, so I'm 100 sure they they can't move. I can also do that with your design, but you can also do other things like maybe a chain or something instead of because let me change instead of uh, the end rods make those look cool too uh, the entire machine is around a chunk entire chunk big so if you just take out an entire chunk there's perfectly around of room for it. As you can count if you look down. Wait a second till I'm done. That's all of them. It's important that you don't forget one. <laughs> God, otherwise the machine breaks. Um, I can only do that when there are things on top of this. Otherwise it will take down the chains with it. Um, yeah, then I'll activate it. By just placing a block right now. Oh. Oh, I forgot one thing. Oh, phew, luckily I just found that right now. I'm gonna remove the pistons here. Phew, 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 phew. Otherwise the machine would have broken. Um, you see, here there needs, on these sides, there also needs to be a, a blast furnace. Because this, this one was uh, one down too much. Okay, luckily I found it out right now. That's why I'm gonna put this in the front of the video, this part. Make sure you watch the entire video because I forgot to place these blast furnaces right here. Okay. Right now it should indeed work when I place a block right. Yes. See it moving upwards. Uh, I'm gonna be a little bit away. I can say stop. And then uh, what you can do is like make these blocks slabs full blocks. So it looks very nice when it lands. And then you can put like a slab thing around here too. And then we're gonna look at the blast furnaces. You see that's beautiful symmetric. This layer and this layer beneath too, and this layer too, and these kind. It's just one way symmetric, not four way symmetric. And then what you can do is take a dispenser, 
go to this side right here. Uh, because uh, this dispenser isn't a movable object, you can just put it here without worrying that it will get taken down by a slime block. Put a lot of snowball in there. I can also put it like an, uh, you say, a hopper here to make it fill up. And then just make a button that activates it. You can just put, make a redstone line, like go up, like that. and I place a button on it and it will fire a snowball and it will hit it and it will go down and yeah, that's how you make it oh yeah one thing I need to remember to say is that if you want to make something like here you have to use uh, blast furnaces yeah otherwise it will take it with him and you can also do it here it's not necessary because the max height is is here so we'll not take these with them but for the sake of symmetry from the top and bottom i recommend also doing that so it looks better and yeah that's how you make it and that it can go up as high as you want and go, and go as of course can't go above uh, build height oh yeah if you it of course will automatically stop when it reaches build height so you know you can also build put nothing and make the top the build height and the bottom the the bedrock but for the bottom you also definitely need the blast furnaces to stop it okay that's how you make it and how you can decorate it uh, don't put extra blocks on it because most of them already are at the max push limit of 12 and yeah good luck uh, getting all the materials for it especially all the slime and honey uh, 